back in a few minutes, Paddington. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, Mr. Giuseppe. Good afternoon. Welcome to Giuseppe's grooming salon. What can I do for you today, sir? A shave? A light pomade? Or is it just a brush? <gasps> Quick trim, barber. Oh, I'm not the barber. I just tidy up. Yeah, well, that's all I want. Tidy up the back and size, nothing off the top. Yes, but... No, but come on, man. Chop, chop. If you say so, sir. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Oh. I think I may be about to shave a customer. Oh, thank goodness. Just putting you on hold! But I don't want to. It's only a haircut, Nelson. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come in. Take a seat. We'll go somewhere else. Some product, sir. Ah, got it, got it. There you are. All done. I must say it's turned out a lot better than I expected. Uh -huh. What the devil is that? It's uh, marmalade. Marmalade. Hairy marmalade. Well, get it off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, yuck! What is the matter with you? Paddington! Mr. Giuseppe, I can explain. It's really not as bad as it looks. I am tickled the deepest shade of shrimp to have been asked here tonight to open this wonderful old steam fair. But you know... When Madame Kozlova created this thing all those years ago... She most certainly was not thinking of people like me. Whatever I am, VIP, celebrity, I hate all that stuff. No, no, West End legend, that's another <laughs> No, no, she was thinking of you guys, huh? The ordinary people. So, I'm going to ask one of you to come up here and open the fair. Volunteers! Okay. Anyway. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny. <laughs> Bear. Oh, let's have the young bear. Why not? Come, come, young Ursine. Thank you. Up here, my furry friend. Very good, very good. Now, your name is? Paddington Brown. Oh, well, of course it is. You are my new neighbour. You live with Henry and Mary and the great Mrs... <laughs> now then, I suppose you know who I am. Oh, yes. You're a very famous actor. Oh, poo. <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> well, a man has to eat. What? Dog food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very funny. Anyway, they do say that at Madame Kozlova's all your dreams come true. So, if you had one wish tonight, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. I'd like to get my Aunt Lucy a birthday present. Aww. I've got my eye on an old pop-up book of London made by Madame Kozlova, as it happens. The only problem is it's rather expensive, so I need to get my paws on an awful lot of money. Well, I'm not sure that we can offer you that, but we can, of course, offer you oodles of fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you would like to lend me a paw, we now declare Kozlova's steam fair open! <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, 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 one moment. A word in your ear. Hmm? 
This, uh, this pop-up book, do you know it? I know of it, but I was led to believe it was lost. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, at Mr. Gruber's antique shop. He's keeping it to one side for me, but I really need a job. I don't suppose you have any advice, do you? No, no, no. I imagine you just have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. <laughs> do you know what, Mr. Buchanan? Hmm? You've just given me the most brilliant idea. Have I? I'm going to be a window cleaner. Sure, Colonel. They're awfully dirty. I don't care, and I'm not paying. Perhaps I'll do them anyway. Hello, Colonel. You're where? There's a bear on your roof. Yes. He seems to be cleaning my windows. Shall I do your gutters while I'm up here? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Well, of course, it's not for me to say, Colonel, but I wouldn't care to have an undesirable crawling all over my premises. And as commander of your community defence force... Is that an official position, Mr Curry? Or have you just bought yourself a yellow coat? Got my eye on you, bear! Oh, sorry. There's a little song to help you get along. Gets you on the door to do a tiny job. Take some soap and water, mix it up together, flash it on the window pane. Scrub it left to right till it's shiny bright. Rub it on your mouth. Dinner is served, Master. Thank you, Simpkins. If 
like me, your doggy likes to maintain standards. Can I recommend Harley's Gourmet Dindins? More taste, more goodness, more, dare one say, class? Mm. Harley's Gourmet Dog Food. Oh. Not to be consumed by humans. Um, excuse me, Mr. Knuckles? Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. You want to complain? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say complain. Oh, that's a shame, because I just love it when people complain. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, it's very gritty. Oh. And lumpy. And as for the bread, need I say more? I think we need to completely overhaul the menu. Now, I know we're working to a tight budget, but we could at least add some sauce. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just, uh... Hmm. No, that's just rubbing it in. Don't worry. I know what gets ketchup stains out. Hang on. Was it mustard? Hmm, no. That's just made it worse. Does anyone know what works on ketchup? Japs? Mm. Forget the medic. Better send a priest. You listen to me, you little maggot. Listening? Nobody criticizes my food. Right. Nobody squirts condiments on my apron. Got it. And nobody bonks me on the head with a baguette. No bonking. I'll overhaul the menu, all right. Really? Dish of the day? Yes. Bear pie. Oh, I don't like it. What is this? It's a marmalade sandwich. Marmalade? My Aunt Lucy taught me to make them. You mean you can make this? Well, yes. Stand aside. Get up off the floor, you bunch of yellow bellies. Listen to me. This bear is now under my protection. Oh. Anyone who touches a hair on his back will answer to Knuckles McGinty. That's Knuckles with a capital N. Thank you, Mr. McGinty. Don't thank me yet. I don't do nothing for no one for nothing. Beg your pardon? If you ask me, the real culprit slipped the net. What makes you say that? Because I saw her. That's what. I was on patrol in the upper dome watching the nuns parade far below when something caught my eye. One of them broke free from the herd and made her way to the Whispering Gallery. Only the good Lord knows what she was doing up there. See. But she was never going to get away with it. Not while I'm Vice Deputy Head of Security. Oi! Attention all units, an unusually attractive nun is causing mayhem in the Cathedral Dome. Activate emergency protocol. Stop that stunning sister! I set off at lightning speed. But by the time we'd locked the place down, she'd vanished into the night. Good evening, my son. Oh, uh, good evening, Your Grace. Good evening. <sighs> Most beautiful woman I've seen in a long time. <sighs> Do you think you might be able to describe her? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> In the past month, these three shadowy individuals have all been seen snooping around three London landmarks. Oh. We think the thief you saw is part of a criminal gang, using the pop-up book as a treasure map. Well, it's a theory. Have you found out who they are? Not yet, dearie. Maybe I should take a look. 
I'm sorry, this is a private conversation. Oh, it's all right, Mr. Brown. This is my friend, Knuckles. Go here. And this is Fibs. G'day. Spoon. Hello. Jimmy the Snitch. All right. T-Bone. Watch out. The Professor. Hey. Squeaky Pete. Ow. Double Bass Bob. Hello. Farmer Jack. Okay. Mad Dog. Oof. Johnny Cashpoint. Catching. Sir Geoffrey Wilcott. I hope I can rely on your vote. And Charlie Rumble. <sighs> it's so wonderful to meet you all. I must say it's a great relief to know that Paddington's already made such sweet friends. <laughs> Would you excuse us a moment? What are you doing? Talking to the nice men. Nice men? Mary, we can't trust these people. I mean, look at them. Talk about a rogues gallery. Hideous. And as for that bearded baboon in the middle, he's hardly got two brain cells to rub together. We can still hear you, Mr. Brown. Oh, yeah. That was the light you turned off. The microphone is on the other side. It's got microphone written on it. Gentlemen, if I have offended you in any way... Don't worry about it. We're fond of the little fella. And let's face it, if anyone can recognise a criminal gang, it's us. Listen to the rain on the roof go pit pity pat pit pity pat pit Sit kitty cat, we won't get home for hours. Relax and listen. To the rain on the roof go Blank, blank, a blink Blank, blank, a blink blank. Let's have a drink and shelter from the showers Rain, rain, don't go away Fill up the sky Rain through the night We'll stay cosy and dry Listen to the rain on the roof go It seems I didn't need the West End after all. Just a captive audience. <laughs> what am I like? Guards, lock me up. The weight you have. <laughs>